Hello again, everyone. So today I want to talk to you about how we can break up a tea brick. Now in my last video, I showed you how to use a tea cake. The methods are very similar, though I have a few techniques that will help you break this apart. As you can see, this brick is much more condensed. Usually tea bricks are done with a machine or hydraulic press, so that's why they are very tight. Some people like to compress tea cakes very tightly for long-term aging. Though, as tea drinkers, sometimes we want to check in with those teas and learn how that tea is developing. So today I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can break up a tea brick. Now, with a tea cake, you'll need the same things. A tea tray, a tea pick, and of course, the tea itself. And if you want to store the tea for later, you want to get a nice little tea jar, or porcelain jar, clay jar, whatever you like to store the tea in so you can drink it later. I usually like to break the tea cakes that I'm interested in drinking this month for the next few months all at once. So it's a little bit easier for me to pick the tea out of the jar and drink it rather than having to break up the cake every time I want to drink tea. Also, you'll notice that there's going to be more surface area when you break up a tea cake and it will do a little bit maybe faster post fermentation and aerate the tea a little bit. So you may get even different taste profiles after the tea cake has been pressed up. Though, of course, if you ever want to store tea long term, I always recommend keeping in its cake or brick format. So we'll go ahead and get started. With this tea brick, what I did with the cake was I kind of went around the sides with a tea cake and I kind of loosened it up slowly. With the brick, I don't really want to do that. What I want to do is I want to go from this longer side. I want to find an opening and then I want to press the brick, the pick in in its entirety and almost split the brick into two or three. Um, this will just kind of help break it up and avoid scratching or breaking the leaves too much. I almost want to segment the brick. So once I find a spot, I can kind of go in. You do want to be very careful with tightly compressed cakes because it can be very easy where the pick can go off in another direction and you might stab yourself. So always be careful. Um, hold it very formally. Always have a breaking tray. As you can see, there's a lot of scratch marks. And sometimes it will go down very fast. So you also want some kind of tray to protect your table underneath. So we'll go ahead and find this spot. And this time, sometimes you need a little bit of pressure. So once again, be very careful with this. See how it can come off very quickly. And that's why you need this tray to protect that. And so what I'm doing is I'm pulling off these big chunks, right? I'm essentially making this uh, brick thinner. And so once I kind of have some thin sides, it's hard for me to find another piece now because it's so thin around the edges. So I can go ahead and turn this over. Now with bricks, you usually will get a lot of dust. It's almost unavoidable. So just try to minimize the dust you create. And so because this sometimes needs a little bit more focus and it is a little time consuming to break up these bricks, that's why I like to do them all at once in one sitting, then I don't have to continually go back. By doing this method, by pulling off big chunks, obviously this is more tea than we would need for a gaiwan or a teapot. Um, you avoid the excess scratching and chipping away of the tea cake if we were to only chip away two, three, four grams for each setting of tea. Um, so this just allows us to bring off those bigger pieces and avoid unnecessary small pieces or scratches in the tea. And see, now it's starting to get a little weak. I can almost break it. And this is what you want. You want these big chunks. Now, once we get a few big chunks, we can then go in and break them up individually. So I'm just going to go ahead and maybe do one or two more. Once again, if I'm going from the side, I'm leaving an opening. I don't want to have my fingers in front of the blade. Always leaving an opening. Yeah. So now we can get these really nice big pieces. Now, for the sake of time in this video, I'm going to go ahead and remove these two bigger pieces and I'll break down some of these smaller pieces and then place them in the jar. So now we have some of these. What you kind of want to do is you want to look for something that kind of has a little bit of an opening and then you kind of just want to break them apart slowly. Once again, I like to use the pick rather than my hands because the pick can help avoid breaking the leaves too much. 
or just some of these bigger pieces I want to kind of break. They can sometimes be so thin, all you really need to do is just apply a little pressure and sometimes they'll break apart. So there is quite a bit of dust with this tea, but that's okay. When you brew your tea, you do want to use a bigger piece and some smaller dust or pieces together so you can get a really well-balanced brew. You don't want to be brewing tea just with this dust or just with these bigger pieces. You kind of want a combination of both of those. And sometimes they can be a little tough. If it is a little tough, just go ahead and find another spot. If this is the first time you're breaking up a tea cake, I recommend don't start with a compressed brick. I'd recommend starting with a more looser tea cake, just so you can learn a little bit the techniques and find a way that feels most comfortable to you when breaking up this tea cake. So these are pretty good sizes. Um, I think this is good for me. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is um, I'm gonna go ahead and place this in the jar. Of course, we can put our tea pick away. Put these bigger chunks in with my hand here. And then those smaller pieces, we can go ahead and use this nice little opening to pour right into the jar. I hope you liked this video and hope this was helpful and getting a different approach on how you can kind of break apart those more condensed bricks. So just be very cautious, always be safe, um, and find a way to protect your table with something like a tea tray, and be very, very cautious of your hands. Go ahead and put all your tea in your nice little tea jar, or tea caddy of choice, and you can put that on your tea table for later enjoying. Thank you all so much. If you like videos like this, go ahead and like and subscribe. Let me know about topics you want to see for future videos in the comments below. And if you want to check out other videos related to poor tea and loose leaf tea in general, go ahead and check out my channel. Thanks so much.